When mounting the base plate to the magnetic chuck, be sure that the chuck is clean and free of debris. Place the plate on top of the chuck and slide it firmly to the plate's stopping edge. Then activate the magnetic chuck so that it will hold the plate securely. Next, place your TrueTech unit on top of the plate. Once this is done, you can lock the unit in place by tightening the cradle clamps with a 3 16th Allen wrench. Clockwise tightens and counterclockwise loosens. Also, it is very important to lock down the clamp assembly in the back of the unit over the rear sign bar. This allows for less vibration and more rigidity when grinding. Next, you must plug the unit into its TrueTech power supply box. To do this, Take the cord and plug coming from the unit and plug it into the back of the power supply. Then, take the cord and plug from the power supply and plug it into an AC 110 volt outlet. You'll now notice that by switching the power supply to the on position, the regulating roller will begin to turn. You can switch the direction of the roller by flipping the switch on the power supply to either forward or reverse. It is very important that when grinding is taking place that the roller is in the forward position, spinning clockwise. The TrueTech unit will not perform properly if you are grinding with the roller in reverse position. You can adjust the speed at which the roller spins by turning the speed adjustment knob. Clockwise increases the speed and counterclockwise decreases the speed as shown by the roller speed indicator. We will talk more about recommended speeds later in this video. Dressing or truing the regulating roller is one of the most important things you can do to the TrueTech Systems unit. The roller is what rotates your part and what gives you such precise concentricity and virtually eliminates runout. To dress your roller you want to make sure that your unit is parallel and flat. This ensures that you do not dress a taper onto the roller. To do this, make sure that the clamp assembly in the back of the unit is tightly locked down. In order to provide clearance for the grinding wheel as you dress the unit, make sure that the blade holder clears the grinding wheel. To do this, unlock the blade holder screw with a 3 16th Allen wrench and pivot the holder up and out of the way. In addition, the pressure roller assembly should be removed from the unit. To do this, unlock the screw on the back side of the assembly with a 3 16 hex wrench, sliding it off the tension arm. The last thing to be removed from the top of the unit is the stop block assembly. To do this, unlock the screw on top of the block using the 3 16 hex wrench. To keep the threads clean, all unused holes on the top of the unit should be filled with the quarter 20 screws provided to you in your TrueTech Systems accessory case. Now you are ready to dress the roller. Select the wheel you want to use to dress your regulating roller. It should be a 120 to 220 grit diamond resin bonded wheel. Now turn on the roller. Adjusting the speed to 8.0 volts on the speed control meter. Be sure to have a light amount of coolant flowing on the unit roller. Too much coolant can interrupt the dress of the roller, creating high spots that would make the grinding of your parts very difficult. Bring the grinding wheel to the top of the regulating roller. You want to feed the wheel down in three to five ten thousandth increments and sweep across the unit at a medium speed. Make two or three passes, depending upon how worn the roller is. Be sure that you have cleaned up the entire roller before going on to the final pass. For the final pass, adjust the wheel down two ten thousandths and sweep across the roller very slowly and very steadily. This final pass is critical to achieve maximum accuracy. When you are finished, wash down the unit with coolant to ensure that all the roller dust that was created during the operation has been removed. One of the main features of the TrueTech Systems unit 
is the dressing attachment mounted on the back side of the regulating roller. This attachment allows you to dress diamond and CBN wheels. To begin, turn on the grinding wheel. Turn the TrueTech unit on as well, with the roller turning in the clockwise or forward direction. Adjust the voltage to 12 volts. Bring the grinding wheel to the top of the dressing stone. The stone may not be running true, but will start to grind true as you begin the dressing process. There are three different ways to dress the grinding wheel with this attachment. The first way is to dress the wheel flat, or sharp, to both corners. To do this, you want to touch the grinding wheel to the stone and walk the unit off the wheel at a medium and steady rate of speed. Adjust the wheel down one thousandth of an inch and walk the machine across the wheel in the opposite direction. Adjust the wheel down one thousandth of an inch with each pass and repeat this process 20 or 30 times, being careful to move across the dressing attachment at a medium and steady rate. Finally, you will want to make some lighter passes, feeding the wheel down just two ten thousandths of an inch on each pass. Repeat this another 20 or 30 passes. This should dress your wheel flat within two ten thousandths of an inch. To dress your wheel sharp to one edge, Bring the grinding wheel down to the top of the dressing stone and feed down one thousandth of an inch. Walk the machine off the wheel. Now, raise the grinding wheel one thousandth of an inch and come back to the original position. Note, the upward wheel movement in the animation is exaggerated to clarify the process. Once in the original position, lower the wheel down two thousandths of an inch and walk off the stone again. Repeat this process about twenty to thirty times taking one thousandths of an inch passes in one direction only. This will dress the wheel sharp to the front edge. If the wheel is not sharp, repeat this process until it is. To dress the wheel sharp to the back edge, you want to touch the dressing stone with the grinding wheel and walk towards the unit, lifting up one thousandth of an inch, return and lower the wheel two thousandths of an inch and walk back toward the unit again. Repeat this process 20 to 30 times. Again, the upward wheel movement in the animation is exaggerated for clarity. This will make the wheel sharp on the back edge. If the wheel is not sharp after this process, repeat the process until it is. This is how to use the dressing attachment on the unit. This attachment allows you to dress the wheel true to the spindle, which will help give you longer wheel life, better surface finishes, and more aggressive plunge rates.